Kickstart software for the PC enables quick test setup and data visualization when using one or more instruments. Today, we're going to provide you with a brief overview of our new features in Kickstart version 2.0. Kickstart auto discovers instruments connected to the PC via USB, GPIB, and LAN and loads them into the instrument pane. You can observe additional details about each instrument through its right-click menu. Create a unique identifier for your instrument in Kickstart. This is especially useful when you have more than one of the same instrument connected to the PC. Today we are going to configure a test that involves a data logger. Launch the app by double-clicking on the instrument or dragging the instrument into the main work area. If your test involves multiple instruments, you can launch apps for additional instruments by double-clicking on the instrument in the instrument pane. For this video, we are going to create a data logger test that measures data on three channels. On channel 101, we will measure DC voltage. On channel 105, we will measure two-wire resistance. On channel 110, we will measure temperature via a thermocouple. Note that we can assign custom labels to channels. We will assign a custom label to channel 110 at this time. This allows you to personalize the channel name and makes it easier for you to scan your data quickly in the reading table and on the graph. Now we're going to ask the data logger to run a total of 500 scans with a half a second between each scan. To run the test, press the Run button in the App Toolbar. As the test is running, you can view data loading into the reading table and the graph. In the reading table, you will note the statistics are automatically generated and updated as the data is streamed into the computer. You can hide rows or columns to focus only on data important to you. Statistics will automatically update to reflect only visible data. On the Graph tab, you will see that the data is automatically plotted. On the Data Logger app, multiple measurement functions are shown at once as each function is plotted on its own y-axis. The graph has well-placed controls in order to use as much of the display as possible for plotting the data. Moving your mouse around the plot will allow you to discover the graph's tools and controls. Hover over the legend to add or remove data series. You can adjust the data source for the x-axis in the x-axis hover menu. Use the box zoom to zero in on a certain portion of the graph. You can hover over a point to see its exact value. Click on the data point to add a marker to identify that data point as a point of interest. Use the right click menu to add a cursor to see data values across multiple series. By adding two cursors, you can see the horizontal difference between the cursors, in this case, the delta time. Click on the Auto Scale button to auto scale the graph. All data taken during a particular test is saved in Run History. After a run is completed, you can use the Run History button to select the data set that you want to plot or view in the table. You can select multiple runs to compare data sets on the graph. You can also export data in the Run History menu. Click on the Export button in order to export the table as a CSV file or the graph as a PNG image. The Export window shows the file names in a preview of the graph images. Press the Export button to complete the data export. Save all the apps and their respective data in this test as a Kickstart project. This makes it easy to document your test setup and to replicate the test later. You can also share this project with your colleagues to aid them in duplicating this test on their test bench. This ends your brief overview of Kickstart 2.0 software. Find out more at Bicom's website.